MLA Raki Panchuli is a dedicated advocate and politician here in Edmonton. She is committed to serving the welfare of children, families, and the communities in which they live. She is also a child of immigrant parents. And she's been kind enough to share a little bit about her experience of growing up in an immigrant family. When did your parents immigrate and what was the reason they chose to come to Canada? My mother immigrated to Canada in 1968 from Tanzania. And at that time, it was a very, I guess, uncomfortable period for a lot of uh, Indians in East Africa. Now, my dad, he immigrated to Canada the same year, but they didn't actually know each other. Uh, He immigrated from India. Both of my parents... um, came to Canada because they did believe Canada was a a place of opportunity and a place to rebuild their lives. So they met in in Toronto and got married there. Um, One of the interesting pieces, and this uh, some some people might relate to this, is that my parents actually come from different religious backgrounds. My mother is from a Muslim family and my father is uh, from Hindu family. And that was actually incredibly controversial at the time for them to be getting married. So when they met in in Toronto and got married, they actually did so without the blessing of their families. And so they got married at City Hall in Toronto and we began our lives there. I was actually born in London, Ontario. They moved there briefly to to begin a little business. And my brother was born, my older brother was born in Brampton, Ontario. And when when I was about four years old, my family decided to head out West because like many people in the 1980s saw Alberta as a place of great opportunity and new jobs. And my dad got transferred from a hotel he was working at in uh, in uh, Ontario over to Calgary. And then we ev- eventually settled in, in Edmonton. So my parents came. Um, I don't think their story is that different from many other, other people's stories around that time. They came for opportunity. They came, came for building a, a life, a great life for their kids. That's what they hoped for. Um, they wanted to have access to a great education system, a great healthcare system. Um, and they just really believed that Canada was a place of, of open arms. Uh, and that's why they came here. What challenges did your parents face as immigrants to Canada, and how did you see them overcome those challenges? My family did experience um, overt racism, and um, that was something I think any person of color um, probably has experienced uh, to some degree, unfortunately. Um, I have some childhood experiences of our house being vandalized Um, when I was 13, you know, somebody spray painted our house with swastikas and um, racial slurs and um, egged our home. And that was uh, really hard. And when I think about it now as an adult, I actually, I think about how my parents felt during that experience, because they had tried so hard, I think, in their perspective to fit in and somehow they were still being treated as others. Um, And I think it really pained them to see their children experience that as well. And so uh, that that experience stuck with me. I know um, both of my parents sort of, we didn't talk about it a lot. I think there's a lot of shame that goes along with experiencing overt racism. And I think one of the outcomes is that is that people don't want to talk about it. So we, we didn't speak about it much. It's only actually very recently that I started having those conversations again uh, with my mom. And what she said, which really resonated with me, is that um, as shameful as it was for that to happen, what she really remembered was that um, we had neighbors uh, from all sides of our house who came out the next day and spoke to her and said, you know, this is not what we believe. You are welcome here. And they helped us repaint the house and repaint the fence. And she says, that's the memory and experience that stays with her. That's not what the overwhelming belief is of people in Alberta and in Canada, and that your neighbors will speak up for you and speak out. And so um, I certainly have internalized a lot of that in, in terms of speaking out when I see injustice and knowing and hoping that my neighbors will do the same. Why do you think it is important to learn about and celebrate each other's culture? We didn't have a strong emphasis in my household on um, our Indian culture. And um, 
you know, of course we ate the food, my mom and, and both my dad cooked the food and we had um, a vague understanding of it as kids growing up. But I, I felt like my parents somehow believed that they kind of had to leave some of that behind uh, in order to truly embrace being part of Canadian. And that I think is a big loss because I think one of the things that's so powerful about Canada and about Alberta is that we have so many people from different backgrounds and bringing those perspectives and those experiences and those cultures and those traditions Traditions really enriches all of our lives. I think we have so much to learn from each other's experiences and cultures. And um, so finding that balance, maybe it's a balance, maybe it's just uh, just really open mindedness about uh, the value of uh, all that newcomers bring. How do you feel you have benefited by growing up with immigrant parents? So one of the things I talk about a lot when I say what having immigrant parents really instilled in me is this idea of being um, part of a bigger community, not just directly where you live, but um, having my parents immigrate to Canada from, you know, from Tanzania and from India, we traveled back and forth to those, to India in particular growing up, it made me realize that I'm part of a bigger global community. And from an early age, uh, it, it instilled in me that I'm not just, we're not just a small circle of people that we have immediately around us, but that we actually can have an impact and have a responsibility and the joy of learning what happens in other parts of the world. So definitely coming from immigrant parents uh, turned me into a bit of an international traveler myself. Um, you know, I've spent some time, I've lived in England, I've lived in South Africa, I've studied in South Africa, I've traveled to many countries around the world. And that always felt like just part of who I was because my parents had done it. They traveled around the world. They'd moved their entire life across the world. And so it made me realize uh, that uh, I'm part of that global community and I wanted to learn more about it. So they made me certainly into an international traveler and somebody who's very globally aware, I think, of things. Big part of coming from uh, children or being a child of, of immigrants to this country uh, who taught me that we are responsible for contributing to the bigger global community and to our local community. Thank you so much, Raki, for sharing your story with us today. And thank you for your commitment as an MLA to making things better for all Albertans.